So what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking in the circuit shown below the op amps are ideal. Then V out in volts is what? So here the question is asking to find out this V out voltage. Now if you look at this op amp, first of all we have to figure out whether this op amp is non inverting op amplifier or inverting op amplifier. If the voltage input is applied to positive terminal that is non inverting. If the voltage input is applied to the negative that's inverting if we have like voltage applied applied in the both terminal it can be differential or other kind right so first let's see where which terminal is there's voltage input in which terminal so first you can see for the negative terminal this is connected to the ground so this is zero voltage so there's no voltage applied in the negative terminal so the voltage input is only going to the positive terminal therefore this is a non-inverting op amplifier now for a non-inverting op amplifier we can find out the V out voltage using this formula 1 plus feedback resistance over R1 times the output resistance uh, like input input voltage. So in this case input voltage is going to be output voltage of the first op amplifier. So if we call this one V01 that's going to be the input voltage for this second op amplifier. Okay. So this is RF this is our feedback resistance and this is our R1 and then we have to find out what is our input voltages here you can see for this one we have input voltage from the positive terminal and also we have input voltage in the negative terminal so when we have these two it's not easy to find out the we cannot directly find out any, using any of these kind of formula so to find this one we can use the superposition theorem so superposition position theorem okay superposition theorem says that you can find out this v out voltage v o1 assuming like we take one of the voltage and assuming that is the only input and we assume other one is connected to the ground so for example this is going to be v o1 due to negative 2 voltage and then we add v o1 due to positive 1 voltage okay so when we take negative 2 voltage we assume positive one is connected to the ground and we find out the voltage and the, again we do that we do that calculation with positive one voltage and we assume this one is connected to the ground so in that way we cal calculate these two voltages and then add them together and that's going to give us a vo1 voltage that's superposition theorem now let's go ahead and do that so first we assume this one connected to the ground if you assume that this is uh, the voltage input is only to the negative terminal so this is the inverting op amplifier if the voltage input is to the negative terminal that is inverting op amplifier for an inverting op amplifier this is inverting op amp for an inverting op amp we can calculate the we can calculate the voltage output by using this formula v over minus 2 voltage we can calculate the voltage using feedback resistor negative minus feedback resistance over input resistance for this one this is the feedback resistance this is the input resistance let's call this one r1 or ri whatever so this one over this one is going to give us the rf over r1 right let's write the general formula first rf over r1 times the voltage input is the equation for the non in i mean inverting op amplifier to find out the voltage output so here we this is we are trying to find for negative two voltage so this is negative feedback resistance is one kilo ohm and also this one input resistance also one kilo ohm so one over one that's one times the voltage input is two voltage so multiply by two voltage that's going to give us two voltage so this is the voltage output when we consider negative two voltage is the only input voltage so this is two voltage now we have to figure out what is going to be the v o one voltage when we consider positive one is the only input voltage so if we do that we consider now we consider this one connected to the ground okay so this is the only input voltage and when we consider this one this is a non-inverting op amplifier because the voltage input is connected to the positive terminal so this is non-inverting op amplifier and to find out the non uh, op, I mean V output voltage for a non-inverting op amplifier, we use this equation, the same equation we used right here. Right? This is for a non-inverting op amplifier. 1 plus RF over R1. Here we don't have RF over R1. 
Hmm. So we only have one kilo ohm. So that's going to be the, this is our R1, right? We don't have the feedback resistance. So this is going to be the, the just one, right? So we just going to have one and the input voltage is one. So one, so two times one, that's going to be just two. So this is going to be the voltage output due to positive one voltage. So this is going to be two voltage. So totally we get four voltage due to this. So this is for the, this is going to be the voltage output due to the first op amplifier, op amplifier four voltage. Now this is, for, this is going to be the input voltage for the second op amplifier and we are interested in finding this V output. We already know that for a non-inverting op amplifier, the V output voltage can be calculated using one plus RF over R1 times V over one. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So finally, we will get VO is equal to one plus feedback resistance is one input. I mean, R1 is equal to one. So uh, one over one, that's going to give us one times the input voltage. We found out there is four voltage. So we just multiply this one by four voltage. And finally, we will end up with four times two. That's going to give us eight volts. And that's going to be the final output voltage. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.